Hello. Welcome to an episode of Day Drinking with Stephen Noel. <laughs> Hi. We're going to do things a little different this week. It's not all about our truck camper. That's about what we do inside <laughs> our truck camper. <laughs> it's all about alcohol this week. <laughs> so a couple of years ago, maybe last year, I don't know. Sometime since we've had cupcakes. Since, so sometime between um, July of 2020 and October of 2022, we made our way to Pendleton, Oregon. And it's on the east side of Pendleton. It used to be halfway between where we lived in the Portland area, where most of our kids are, and our daughter Jessica and her family in, outside of Boise, Idaho. They don't live there anymore. But we bought some horseradish vodka. Do you remember we did. Oregon Grain Stillers? Yeah, Oregon Grain, Grain Distillery. Distillery. Yeah, we did a like a flat of flight. flight. There we go. Flight of your flat on your ass yeah, after yeah. maybe. We did a flight of like vodkas. <laughs> yeah. And maybe there were six. I don't know. Yeah. There's quite I, a few. Yeah. I went into it thinking I was gonna love the watermelon vodka. Like I already had yeah. my mind made up that I was buying watermelon vodka. That's what I was taking to Jessica. And then we both loved the horseradish vodka. So we gave some away, and then we, we, drank, we shook drank the lunch. camera. Oh, and, sorry. <laughs> we gave some away, and then we drank the rest ourselves. We bought two bottles. Yeah. So we drank one at Jessica's with her. Yeah. It makes the most amazing Bloody Mary. Yeah. And we, we tell people that we really like horseradish vodka, and they're like, mm, no. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. So after And looking, we haven't yeah, found it yeah. anywhere else. After looking for the past few years to buy some somewhere and not finding it we started looking for horseradish about a year ago in stores in stores and then regular stores asian stores farm and market, it, yeah. farmers market yeah. we've looked everywhere so finally found it this year on amazon of all places uh -huh. so we are going to make our own horseradish vodka and you are coming along for the journey <laughs> aren't you excited yeah, i know i can tell i feel the enthusiasm so when we were back at home, we went to our favorite store. <laughs> it is Total Wine and More. I don't know if you have one in your state or your neighborhood. If you've never been to one, get yourself to one. It's Ooh. like the Costco of alcohol. It's like every kind, except for Pendleton Grain Distilleries. Um, Their horseradish vodka. Vodka. They don't have really that. Yeah. But everything else you can find at Total Wine and More. Wow. Things that you never even heard of, you can find there. So we went there, and we came away, which I thought we were going to buy like a fifth of vodka to make horseradish vodka. Someone thought differently. Yeah. Uh, I was more into like, let's, I, my expectation is this may not turn out great based on how long we let them steep for. So I thought let's have a couple different varieties and different steep times so here's what we have i've never heard of this before star blue vodka this cost about 17 dollars for this size i don't even know what you call this size but this one's called american something what does that say american plains vodka that cost about 24 dollars and then we went with the good old-fashioned absolute so really anymore I mostly just buy Costco vodka, and it's just great. It's fine. But before, when I was a little bit more particular, I bought Absolute or Grey Goose. So we thought, well, we'll try one that's a little bit better, one that we never heard of but medium, and one that we never heard of but you could buy a lot of it for cheap. The only thing is in Washington is a liter tax. So even though this cost 16 they add a liter tax six dollars sixty cents so it's ridiculous this is it's 1.75 liters okay that's how much it is yeah. but they call it a liter tax no matter what size of bottle you buy yeah you don't pay six dollars sixty for each but an incremental so as we were talking about this little project of ours we kind of decided it'd be fun if we do a blind taste test. Mm -hmm. Because Steve thinks that he knows that this is the best and he's going to think these are gross. I mm. said, I don't know. I'm not really that sure I could tell the difference. Wait, you already identified this as the cheap one. It is. That it wasn't as good as these. No, I didn't say it wasn't as good. I said it's cheap. 
I said $16, yeah. $24, $30. So I think it'll be fun blind taste test to see if we can, if our palates can well, discriminate between the three of these. Well, if it can't, why did you buy really expensive? Oh, you said you only bought Absolute before. Or a Grey Goose. Why? If you could because buy the, the rot gut cheap why wouldn't you buy that? Because I learned from a young age that you buy from the top shelf if you don't want to get sick. Okay. That's why. On that note, let's get to doing some shots. <laughs> okay, I poured three little drinks for Steve. I wrote down the answers right here. Okay. So that I could remember. <laughs> and you could go in any order. There's an A, B, and C. Okay. So it's no particular order. So I was, while oil was pouring, I was, you know, not looking and I was looking to see how do we grade our vodka. So we're going to go with the smell. We're going to go with the sight. You know, we'll hold it up to the light. Do we have clarity? How can you? This might be difficult. It's going to be a little hard. We might all get the same scale score for that. And then on taste. So what is it? Smell? Smell? Clar sight? Clarity, sight, and taste? Taste. And I was going to say our fourth category will be how do we feel tomorrow. <laughs> but today, since we're going to mix all these, uh, we'll see. All right, so I'm going to go. And with then what's the scale? One to four? One to three, I mean? Or. Oh, one to ten is easiest for me. Okay. Well, I don't know. That's like, a lot I, of points. Oh my God, it'd be 30 points max. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so many points. All okay. right, so. You're going to start with go. A. How does it smell? One to ten. It smells weak. It smells like plastic. I, I barely smell anything. So wait, you didn't give it a grade. Mm. Did you already sip it all? <sighs> I don't do shots. Oh, oh. Mmm, mmm. There's a burn there. There's a burn there. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so for, for smell. Smell. I'm gonna give it uh, a six. I mean, it, okay. I just I don't smell much. I, maybe I'm expecting it to have more of a smell, but it really doesn't. Well, clarity doesn't mean anything no. to me. Does it to you? No, because it doesn't okay. Really so matter. then, what do you want to choose instead of clarity? Burn factor. Burn factor. <laughs> okay. So what do you give it for a burn factor? I'm giving this an eight on the burn factor. Um, is eight good or intense? So I guess we're going well. No. Yeah, good question. Yeah, because I think for a burn factor, you would want lower Less scores. Burn is good, yeah. So if you give that an eight, then that means it's rut gut, kind of. <sighs> or we never drink vodka like this. I don't drink vodka straight. Uh, Who does? No one, except maybe Russians. Well, maybe like. Those, 19 those, or 20 year olds. Those babies pop out. They oh, hey, Landon. They don't get milk. Yeah, hey, Landon. Tito's for you, huh? Uh, <laughs> oh, I've got a little left. Okay, so what are you going to give it for the burn? We're going to say that one is a high burn and 10 is mellow taste. I'm going to give this, oh, let's say a three. So 10 is mellow, just so we can remember our yeah. score. But you know, the so you're giving it a three? Yeah. And what about the overall taste? Tastes like vodka. It's not bad. You're sweating. I know. It's freaking hot in here. Oh. Too warm? I'm a little warm. This is my palate cleanser for the middle. Beer. No, just kidding. <laughs> just seltzer water. So what did you give I, it for a taste? An eight. So it tasted good? Yeah. Okay. Now choose B. Actually, interesting. The second taste was not as jarring as the first. Why did you sip it twice? I only gave you a little tiny bit. No, splitting in half. Mm. Okay, so smell. Do you like our cups? <laughs> we don't have cups. I, we choose I'm to not, not still have. not smelling much. Okay. So, so what are you going to give it for a smell? I'll give it the same thing I gave the first one. Six? Yeah. Taste. Oh, I like this better than A. Really? Yeah. 
A was just like F you in your face. Like, oh. For me. Uh, so taste. Uh, oh wait, so a smell, I gave it a six. Mm -hmm. Burn factor. One is burn, 10 is mellow. I'm gonna give this about an eight. So it's mellow. Yeah, it's very mellow. Too. Wow. We'll see if the next drink is even more mellow. Well, I know, I know that that's probably <laughs> part of it, right? Your very first shot always is gonna be the harshest, harshest one. Maybe we should repeat this over so several days. So there's a factor there. Yeah, we should try this over like no. three days running. Okay, okay. taste. Taste. Uh, I like it. Okay, so what are you going to score it? An eight. An eight. Okay. Cleanse your palate and start again. All right. So this is my um, boba tea cup. <laughs> it has seen better days. The See, little lid is cracking. Take me home. Reusable cup. I've been using it for about a year. Number C. All right. I don't smell anything. On smell boba this. tea. <laughs> I just, I'm just not smelling it. So I'm gonna give it a six, like you gave the others, just to be neutral. It's very mild. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, so burn factor. Burn factor. It's the same as the last one, maybe. Maybe a little, little more. So a little more burning. More burning. Last one was an eight. Mhm. Mm I might bump this one down to a six. Six. And how about the taste? I don't. It's coming down too. I might give it a seven. A seven. So your favorite one. Okay. Wait, don't tell me. No, I was just going to add them. Okay. Was number B. B. You had 26, 32. How could I have 32? On a scale of 30. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 16, 22. <laughs> 22, I haven't even had a taste test yet. 19. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with C. All right. I'm going to go out of order because I like my boba teacup. Oh, that is strong and not a good strong. I want to give that a three. You're on smell? Yeah, for smell because it doesn't smell good. Now, we should say, Noelle is the vodka drinker here. I am not. Well, I don't, it's not like I drink a ton of it. When I'm on my sister's, I do. <laughs> Noelle, the vodka drinker, not me. So I, I really prefer gin. Your expectation here should be much, much higher from Noelle than from me. Okay, so then what is so you it? Did burn smell, and taste? So burn and taste. Okay, let's taste. I'm going to give that about a four for burn. So that means there's a fair deal of burning. Oh, yeah. Mellow is 10. Mellow is 10. Then I'm going to give that about a five because it's kind of neutral. Okay. Taste? Taste. I'd probably give it about a six. All right. Okay, now we drink the water. No, I'm it. not half finished. What the heck? I don't. These I, are little tiny little no, things. No, I'm just tasting oh, it. Oh, but your God. This is this tiny little bit. Drink up, Holy buttercup. Holy crud, you barely drank. I tasted it. Did it even get your tongue wet? Good grief. Don't judge. I am judging. Don't judge. Okay, now I'm going to go with B. That smells worse. Well, I'm a little spoiled because the last vodka we got was called Vod um, Froggy B. I think that was a French vodka, which I didn't even know there was such a thing. It smelled delightful. It was like a really fragrant gin in its smell. This is just like... 
I don't know. I'll give it, what did I give the last one? A three? A three. I'm going to maybe give this a four. Okay. It just doesn't smell good. Hmm. Nice. I'm going to give that an eight for burn. So not much burn. No. Okay. And I'm going to probably give it seven for taste. What did I give the last one? Six. Yeah, seven's good. So it's a little better. It's a little better. Okay. I'm going to take a little bite of this. Ship it up. I don't want it. Mm, I probably just wrecked it because I probably should have had a bite of that in between both if I was having it. Mm, that's what I did on mine too. I need sample C. No, this is A. Oh, A. So this one's a better smell because it's really a mellow smell. So I'm going to give it a 6. No, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 what is that? Um, <laughs> it's one of three. No, so I'm going to give it for a burn. I'm going to give it a four. Okay, taste. Taste, I'm going to give it a three. Okay, then so for A, you have 13. Okay. B, that's 12, that's 19. And then C, there's 11, 14. Hmm. So B1 for me? So B. I, I honestly have zero idea which one is which. Which do you think is? Mm, I'm going to actually think that B might be surprisingly and be the blue star. I'm going to say that C is absolute. And I'm going to say that A is American Plains. That's my guess. All right, let's look at our piece of paper. Let's see what they actually were. So C was absolute. Oh. So you got that right. B was Blue Star. Got that right. A was Plains. You got that right. So three of three. Yes. So the but one you... The surprisingly is that I like the Blue Star. Blue Star. And it got a good score for you too, right? Yeah. So Blue Star. Blue Star actually got your highest score as well. So either we don't know sh which is very likely, or this is a good vodka. So um, the reason I chose it while we were at the store is because at um, Total Wine and More, they give everything a grade. And this is one of their highest selling vodkas and it had a really high score. They score to 100 on all kinds of different things. And it was in the high 90s. I don't remember exactly what. But I thought for a, what did I say, $17? Yeah. 17, yeah, $17 bottle of vodka before all the taxes. It's actually a pretty good vodka. So. So we're gonna use two of the three of these to make our horseradish vodka. So I guess the question is which should we use? I think I'd keep this one for just drinking, like as a mixed drink. Yeah. All right, so we'll use the Plains and the, the absolute, absolute for horseradish. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All right, let's do it. Here is the horseradish root that we got on Amazon. You can see it's starting to sprout. It's a little dirty also, which is good because, yeah. Mm, this piece may be easy. So Steve grew this one year. That's a lot of horseradish root pops. Yeah. Steve grew it one year and it actually takes over your entire yard if you let it. So I'm going to give this a peel. Oh, 
Oh yeah, now I could smell it. First, I could only just smell dirt. Here's my Puyol horseradish root. We looked at a couple of different recipes and they said to put about three inches, I think. So about this much into 750. 750. And we have 170, no, 1.75. So I think we're gonna use about this much in one of them. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just give it some slices so that it will go into the jar easy. The different, I infuse a lot of vodka. Like I love to make limoncello. I've made jalapeno vodka. I've made all kinds of vodka. So, I am, doesn't look good. Um, I think I'm going to slice them a little bit bigger so that it's easier to get them back out. Um, also, the recipes that we looked at said that you can use grated vodka, but it's going to make for a more cloudy vodka. Grated horseradish? <laughs> you could use grated vodka in your vo infused vodka. Yeah, Drink. horseradish. Drink. Okay, so here's enough for one. So do you want to put it in? Sure. All right. Oh, no, you can. You're right there. So we're going to put this, oh, it has that kind of cap. So, I'm going to hurt myself. How do you get that off? I don't know. <laughs> you get it off that way and it went flying. So I'm going to drop these in. And the recipe we read said leave it for three days, give it a little test, and then you could leave it up to a week. A month. A month. Yeah, it just said taste it every couple days. So I don't know that I would leave it for a month. I make a lot of limoncello, and usually about seven days is enough to have the lemon rinds inside of the vodka. So there's that one. All right. We'll put the lid on. I'll find that one cap that I flung out. And this one's ready to go. Oh, oh. shoot, pops. Don't, well, I guess you could just punch it down in there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well done, well done. Thank you. The thing I was reading, the recipe I was reading said, uh, the, the taste is going to, uh, over time, mellow out. So even if on whatever day 15, you think you have something really spicy, over time, it's gonna drop down. What I read also said that some people will add a little bit of lemon juice after the um, infusion portion of it. Then when after you drain it, then they add in lemon juice and a little bit of honey. And that kind of mellows it out. I think honey would act as a simple syrup. Oh, you got to drop some of that vodka out. One okay. of the recipes Noel was just reading to me. It's from a Russian guy. It sounded like a menu, like a like a little meal or something. Like it had garlic in it. What else was it? No, it said that you could. That some people will also infuse their vodka, their horseradish vodka, with like a little bit of peppercorns, or maybe they'll put in one clove of garlic to give it more of a, a spicier kind of taste. I think that would probably be really good for a um, Bloody Mary mix. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... You gotta shake it up. We'll shake it. And then every, every day we shake them. Every day we shake them. Right now, since we're driving around quite a bit in Cupcake, uh, they're gonna get a lot of shaking. Yeah, Cupcake will do the shaking. <laughs> So I guess we'll check back with you in like three days where we'll do our first sample. I'm grating horseradish for a future video. Check it out. We grated up the horseradish with our little portable grater, old school. Since we don't have a food processor, we're going to try our little manual chopper here. So I've added like four tablespoons of water to what seems to be about a cup of grated horseradish. I'm going to try to mix it up 
And then after that, we will add in vinegar on top of that. So. You give it a smell. hurt me badly oh geez louise oh jeez why did i do that oh my god that hurts oh my god that hurts <laughs> oh my word oh <laughs> i do not have any hair on my nose anymore <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so, so I guess it's it's not Chop, the it's not it's the vinegar. Chopped up. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> oh my god. After independent study, we have verified <laughs> that there is some. Uh, Potency there. Potency here. So we'll take a look at it. Okay. So earlier I had said that it was the vinegar that adds, uh, <laughs> brings out the, the spiciness of the horseradish. Because of the pulverizing. Maybe not. I was having problems when I was grating it. My eyes yeah, were watering. Yeah, mine too. I took a big whiff. I don't know why I did that. I know better than to do that. Anything you say to do, I know don't do. <laughs> You took a big hit too. Oh my gosh. Noelle, you couldn't my see it. My eyes Noelle are was still like... burning. <laughs> oh, my Actually, nose. Sorry about that. I didn't think you'd take like this mono. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I put in a little horseradish, or not a little vinegar. And the vinegar is actually to stabilize the heat. So I'm going to give it a couple tablespoons of that. One, two. I like that your can is not on your cup holder. Oh, yeah. Can's empty. Shoo. So even from a foot away, this is a. I could smell it from here. This is pungent. My recollection of when we, well, this is a lot of horseradish. I know, I just what I kept trying to say. My recollection of the last time we did this was that this stayed in our refrigerator for a long time and it stayed good for a long time. Like, right on, yeah. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with all of this. I'm gonna look up some recipes. Yeah, well. Yeah. Cooking with horseradish. We could always just, you know, throw a little like a teaspoon in with our uh, Bloody Marys. Yeah, you could do that. Probably, actually, probably would be pretty tasty. It would liven them up. Ooh. A little spicy, huh? Yeah, give it a good smell. I know. Yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so this goes in the fridge. And now we have horseradish. We've got horseradish. And a horseradish vodka brewing. What more could we ask? <laughs> We had plans. We were going to sample like three days and then like five days and then like seven days to check out our concoction. Mm -hmm. Our plans, you know, they didn't really happen the way we planned. So, so it's been 11 days <laughs> since we put the horseradish root in. So this is probably horseradish central. We're about to find out, so let's let's sample. Is there one you want to start with? Um, we both hated that one, so let's try it first. Let's start it. It'll t it'll clear the phlegm. How's that? Yeah. American Plains vodka. It's not very horseradishy. It's just like we I, I horseradish. Whew. So very gently. Hmm. 
Hold your this nose. Is like, this is like a chemistry class. <laughs> it's gonna burn your eyes. It it, it smells right, of horseradish. Yeah. Oh, we ruined it. That's like just drinking pure horseradish. Is it? Holy crap! <laughs> oh. Cranberry juice on the croix. It's not bad. That's not good. It's not bad. Oh. It might be good in a Bloody Mary. It's a weak This right is now. so much vodka for Bloody Marys. Do you know how many Bloody Marys this much vodka makes? We gotta get that horseradish out of there. Maybe it'll mellow out over time. Mm. Okay, that was uh, American Plains. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is Absolute Horseradish Vodka. Oh, and we didn't put the little thing back in, so I'll try not to get that. Right. Oh, it smells just as much. You first, I went first on that it one. Smells like deliciousness. It smells like pure horseradish. We really screwed the pooch on this one. It has a oaky aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. <sighs> it's like literally drinking liquid horseradish. Here, I'm, I will breathe directly. Mm. into your face and tell me if you smell horseradish. Can you smell horseradish when I speak directly at your nose? No. Okay, you try. Can you smell horseradish on my breath? No. I think we have the perfect alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Everclear. <laughs> oh my goodness, we messed this up. Oh, I don't think it's that bad. It's not that good. But it'll probably be good in, in Bloody Mary's. Yeah. Yeah. So well, now we're going to dump these out. Strain them put the vodka back in their bottles and then just let it mellow for a couple days. I think the only thing we can really do right now is have some Bloody Marys. That sounds good. Because we are day drinking again. Again. So Still. Let's, let's make some Bloody Marys. The key to any good cocktail begins with ice. We keep our ice in a Tupperware container. We have three pieces of ice. <laughs> well, that's because I um, emptied the container Empty the ice trays and then used it. Okay, I will have. So they're freezing again. I will have one. I guess. I could have one. You can have two. No, I could have one. It's good. That's no, right. it's good. You I could have two. Have... Okay. So for you. All right. All right. Want to pour your shot? What are you, a toddler? Oh, you're having that? Yeah. You wanted to buy that crap, so you have to drink it. But we both liked it better than the no, other crap, didn't. didn't we? No, we didn't. That one failed. We liked the other one the best, the one that we didn't put this in. Fail is such a strong word. It failed. Wow. I think it did fail. I can't remember. One of them we really didn't like. Actually, I think that one might have scored better than Absolute. Did it? On our official taste test. I can't remember. It's been 11 mm. days. Luckily, we have Bloody Mary mix in our fridge. That already has horseradish. Little horseradish. Oh, right. good lord. If we had planned this better, we would have like a whole meal to stick in our Bloody Mary glass. But we did not. We didn't plan this at all. That's good. You don't want to contaminate all the vodka. I like how vodka floats at the top for a minute. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, well, cheers. Cheers. Hey, now that's pretty good. It's yeah, tasty. That's not bad. Let's take this out, and I'd say it's good. Yeah. Eesh. Oh, yeah, there we wrote the date on it, 10-15. So yeah. do you have any day drinking ideas for us? Well, I have another one that I'm going to do. But if you have something... We'd be happy to do it after we finish our 
Oh, oh it's going to take a year. We have three bottles of vodka? Well, this is going to take a year. Do you think? Oh, gosh, yeah. Head into the holiday season? We're not going to be here. So, three bottles of vodka. Well, I need the other that. bottle because I'm going to make my own Halloween drink. All right. So, you heard it. Three bottles of vodka. Once we're through two of those, we're game to do whatever you want. Cocktail recommendation, maybe. Well, it's almost Halloween. I have a cocktail that I'm going to try. I'm probably I looking... actually have two things headed going right now. Yeah. Right now, I have some cilantro simple syrup brewing for a maybe like a cilantro lemon drop kind of drink. And then I'm going to take the plain vodka, infuse it with some candy corn. Now I'm going to make a candy corn martini. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of want them to go out. Yes, we do. Sort of like fishing. Oh. I probably should use a fork, but it's just... It's just us? It's just us, and it's alcohol. And yeah. I washed my hands, so... When we bought Cupcake, our expectation was that we would end up doing, like, a little more entertaining inside her than we have. Like, we thought we'd end up with friends <coughs> and family in here. And we don't. Not really. Yeah. We go into their homes. Yeah. So this will be us, like, because they're. We take alcohol into their homes. Well, that's true. We don't just drink alone. Is there something wrong with that? Nothing. Because we're not alone, there's two. <laughs> <laughs> Mid afternoon, we're drinking vodka. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Nothing. Yours doesn't hit you? I can't really drink it. Oh. What did you say? It's not like you said. <laughs> I might have said. You didn't drink any. I know. Then why did you lift it up? You're trying to fake me out. No, I was trying to show you that I didn't actually drink oh. really any yet. Me either. Okay. Do you want to pour them back? Yes. One year, a long time ago, my parents had said they wanted to come down to our house for Christmas. Oh, great. And they were going to come down on Christmas Eve. So we saved all of our wrapping for gifts for our kids, of which we have five, for Christmas Eve when my parents would be there. Five kids, it's a lot of gifts. My parents called on Christmas Eve, like in the afternoon, I think, and said... Snow scared them. They weren't coming down. They didn't want to drive in snow. So... We're not really used to snow in the Northwest. Not in the cities. We ended up making ourselves some Bloody Marys and wrapping for hours and hours and hours it seemed well it wasn't that long but it seemed that long it was long enough for us <clears throat> each to have several really stiff bloody marys yes and by the end of that little uh wrapping exercise we decided that never again would we get caught having nothing wrapped on christmas, christmas eve, eve. Mm -hmm. so this is kind of like our uh, christmas eve drink hmm. it is bloody marys just sharing a little bit with you guys hmm. so Thanks for watching. See you next time. <sighs> I don't do shots. Oh, oh.
<laughs> oh, that hurt me badly. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, jeez. Why did I do that? Oh my God, that hurts. Oh my God, that hurts. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, shoot, you gotta take that out. <laughs> uh, we're doing so good. <laughs> right, though, we weren't. Yeah.